it's Frankie Lou. I'm coming to you today from one of my favorite places on the planet, which is my uh, place of employment, the Passive Solar Roller here in Cochrane. Cultivate Cochrane has built this amazing facility to um, do some experiments on how better to grow food in Cochrane and also to do some educational programming about how we can grow food better in Cochrane. Eventually, Cultivate Cochrane would love to build a huge community center slash greenhouse community hub where um, lots of people can come and grow and learn together. But in the meantime, they built this wonderful space, which I've been using to um, educate a bunch of school kids over the last few weeks. So I'm going to show you some of the amazing things that are going on in here because I have built a few greenhouses myself. And boy, do I wish that they were as great as this one here. This is a passive solar greenhouse. So there's lots of really cool technology in the walls. There's lots of really cool technology in the design. And there's also some really neat innovations that have been made with some of the structural things that I'm gonna show you in here. First off, let me take you over here. So it's likely you can hear the fans working in here. And I've done that on purpose because I wanna show you how this works. There's some solar panels up on the ceiling here which are absorbing the sun's rays throughout the day and they're being stored in a standard car battery down here. But that stored energy is helping to run what we call a climate battery. It's almost like a little air conditioning unit here in this greenhouse. If you look up here, you can see that there's some fans running right now, okay? And what those fans are doing is they are helping to maintain a nice temperature in here. Most plants that are growing in a greenhouse are gonna do really well at 26 degrees and you don't want to have your humidity go over 80 to 80%. And when those two, one of those two things happen, this, these fans will click it. If it goes up to 27 degrees or if the humidity goes above 80. Because what that, that piping is that you can see there, it has slits in it that are, and what those slits are going to do is they're going to suck the hot air from the top of the greenhouse. And then, and then what happens is that hot air gets driven down the white pipes that you see here. So now what's what's happening is that that uh, hot air is being pushed down through those pipes through these garden beds in the soil and it's coming up here okay and what's coming out of this pipe is cool air okay so it goes in this pipe hot air sucked down through comes out cool air that's pretty neat. It's basically like an air conditioning unit. I'm just gonna turn that off so you can hear me talking. Okay, it's a really, really neat innovation. But it's not the only one that's going on in here. What we also have is in these walls, we have phase change material. So that's like a gel and it comes in a tile format. And what that does is during the day when it's hot in here, it's absorbing the heat from the sun. Okay, but it's just holding it. And then when it gets cool at night or during the day, it slowly starts to release it so that it maintains a more even temperature in here. I know this works really well because on several mornings over the last month, I have shown up here and it's been zero outside and frost outside, but I come in here and even before the sun comes up, it's seven degrees in here, okay? And that's because of things like this phase change material in the wall. This, this um, greenhouse is also very well insulated on this back wall with a rock wool substance that's doing a really great job of keeping that thermal mass in here. Another thing that's helping is this water tank. Okay, so the water tank is multi-purpose. I water the plants with it. I have a watering can that I use to water the plants with it, but it's also um, helping to maintain the thermal mass in here. It's helping to keep a consistent temperature in here. Okay, and it does work. It's really amazing how well it's working. We also have here, um, we've chosen a really good um, material for the glazing on the roof. A lot of people think that greenhouses should be made out of glass, but that is really not a case in a place like here. Okay, here in Southern Alberta, we get a ton of hail, not good with glass, okay? And we also, while we may not have the longest summers, we have very intense uh, sunlight during the summer. And the polycarbonate here, it does two things. 
it's very, very strong. We have triple layer polycarbonate here, which uh, you could hit with a sledgehammer. It's not going to break. And the other thing that it does is it diffuses the sunlight a little bit because we don't want it burning these leaves, right? If we were to have glass on our roof, it is very likely that some of these leaves would experience some leaf burn during the summer, during the really, really intense heat. The other most awesome thing about this greenhouse, it's pretty cool. I literally got a text from my wonderful boss yesterday saying, do you know where the greenhouse is? Words I never thought I'd have to respond to. But this is a portable greenhouse, like check it out. So because this is portable, over the last few weeks, I have shown this greenhouse to over a thousand students. See, it's on a trailer. <laughs> we have a really great, um, one of the reasons we can do this is because we have some amazing partners like uh, Big Hill Towing here. They have helped us move this greenhouse all over Cochrane. Because of that, we've shown it to over a thousand students in the last two weeks alone. And uh, it's also going to be continuing to get to move around and be doing educational programming with tons of people. So, as you can tell, I'm more than a little bit proud of this. And there's so many other things I could show you, but I don't want to talk for <laughs> too long and drive you guys crazy. I hope you'll check out Cultivated Cochrane's website, okay, because, so that you can learn more about this. Or if you want to support it, please do, because one day it's going to be great when we can build an even bigger one of these and maybe use some geothermal energy as well. And yeah, I just wanted to share it because it's pretty awesome. As always, I hope you'll take this chance to grow together today. Have a good one.